Ridi Viharaya is a 2nd century BC Theravada Buddhist shrine located in the village of Ridagama in Karunagala, Sri Lanka. This temple is located in the Karunagala district. In the Mahavamsa this place is known as the Silver Cave. According to legends, King Datugamunu got silver from this place during the construction of Ruinweli Saya. Hence it was called the Silver Temple. There are approximately 25 caves around the temple, which are considered to be inhabited by Arhat monks, since the arrival of Arahat Mahinda in 3rd century BCE. The temple was revived in the 18th century CE, during the reign of Kirti Sri Rajasana of Kandy. Uda Viharaya was added to the complex during this period. Several affiliated Devalas, Kumara Bandera Devalaya and Patthini Devalaya were also established. Ridi Viharaya now falls under the Malwat chapter of Buddhist temples in Sri Lanka. Maha Viharaya, or the main temple, is located inside the Rajatha Lina, a massive rock which takes the shape of a cobra head. This cave is considered as the place where the original silver ore was found. Various monarchs, including Amandagamani Abhaya and Parakramabahu I of Palanarua have sponsored the reconstruction and expansion of this temple, which is the oldest of all buildings in the complex. It contains a number of Buddharupa in various gestures. This include a 9-meter recumbent Buddha statue and an Anuradhapura-era gold-plated Buddha statue. According to Ridi Vihara Asna, a chronicle, the latter was brought down from India. Other statues, including an ancient statue which is believed to be of King Duttthagamani, eight standing Buddha statues, an Avalokiteshvara statue and a reclining Buddha statue donated by Burma can also be seen inside this building. Waraka Wielandu Viharaya is a Palanarua era building, considered as the place where the Arhat monks accepted jackfruit from the merchants. 8. The name, Waraka Wielandu Viharaya, temple which the jackfruit was consumed, implies this notion. This small Gedig type building of the size of a room, is built in stone and contains a number of Kandian era paintings. Its stone roof rests on eight stone pillars, which are decorated on all four sides. Hindu influence can be observed in the carvings of female dancers, which are usually not found in Buddhist temples.
Uda Viharaya, or the Upper Temple belongs to the Kandyan era, and contains a seated Buddha statue with Makara Thorana and a Sandakata Pahana, moonstone. This Sandakata Pahana is a unique design, as it takes a semicircular shape instead of a triangular shape, which is more common in similar designs of Kandy era and the Makara Thorana is the only one of its kind because two dragons appear from either sides of Lord Buddha's shoulders, a thing which cannot be seen in any other Makara Thorana in the world. There are also sculptures of Hindu deities around the main statue. The chamber contains paintings of mythological animals and Ravana, a main character of the legend, the Ramayana. A stupa is located by the right side of this temple. At the entrance, is a Hindu Devalaya, which is dedicated to the protector god of the area. The Maha Viharaya houses a special kind of sculpture, Pancha Nari Gataya. It appears as a vase at a distance, but five entwined maiden figures are revealed when observed closely. The sculpture is carved entirely out of ivory. Two lion carvings done in ivory can also be seen on either sides of the main carving. rock to the right of the entrance, which is believed to be the place where the initial temple was built. It is also considered that this was the place where King Duttthagamani dressed prior to worshipping at the temple. A small stupa is located on top of this rock. 